So about the blonde girl. Yeah? What she to you? I'm a friend. I'm a little worried about her, so I watch her from afar. Oh, friend. Right. I happen to have overheard what her name is. You know, taxi stuff, nothing creepy. Surely you know it too, since you're friends. Sure, it's my friend Margot. Huh. Guess you weren't lying. Well, might as well tell you. She dropped something on the back seat when she left, but uh, she was out of sight by the time I noticed. She's literally around the corner. Oh yeah? How'd you feel about returning this to her? Looks like a letter. It might be important. You can't get out of the car, take a few steps in that direction and return it yourself? This is a business, kid. I might lose a customer. Yeah, sure. Let me have it. Good man. Say, you won't open it, will you? Do I look like the kind of fella who'd pry into the opposite sex's correspondence? I wouldn't know what that kind of fella looks like, thank God. Here you go. Um, hello there? Password? Password. Nice try, buddy. Alright, Margo, I'm gonna drop the act here. Charlie sent me. Charlie who? Charlie, your lover, that's who. Things are getting complicated, and he said I should take it from here. I need that password. Well, all right. If Charlie said so. The password is Fidelio. Fidelio. Okay. Now don't do anything stupid, just stay put. I'm on it. Understood, Buzz. Oh, I do hope everything works out fine. Don't worry, I got this. Well, good luck in your endeavors. Goodbye, Buzz, and thank you. Um... Yeah, sure. <laughs> no problem. Um, hello there? Password? Fidelio. Everything about this guy screams voodoo louder than Jimmy would. Uh, hi there. Greetings, Wanderer, and be welcome. Who are you? Who am I? Oh, worry not, I get my share of amnesiacs. You are now in the presence of the voodoo gentleman. So, what do I call you? VG? No, that sounds a little bit too gangsta. Voodoo gentleman will do. Thanks. Was that password part really necessary? It is best that I keep a low profile, lest the jackals tax me right out of town. Thus, the recommendation-only access. By the way, who referred you to me? Margo told me about you. Margo? Well, I'm glad to see you're alive and well. The voodoo gentleman? You do voodoo? I'm Buzz, by the way. Hmm, you do at least remember what you came here for, I trust. I remember, all right. 
It all started when I found this book. Well, to make a long story short, I accidentally put a spell on my cat and now she's even more annoying than she was before. A spell, huh? <laughs> How'd you go about doing that, Harry? I used this! Vaulting voodoo fixins is at the... the... the Necronomicon in all its glory. Wanna have a look-see? No, 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 put that away. Th that thing should not be touched. Oh boy, oh boy, uh, I'm sure glad I'm not in your shoes. Um, I, I can't help you with your cat, my man. Uh, there are some things even I don't mess with. But voodoo! Voodoo Schmoodoo, that book is ultimate evil incarnate. Well, I for one wouldn't keep it in my pants pocket, just saying. You are ruining voodoo for me. I hope you're happy. But my cat! Ugh, cats. We never did get along. What are the symptoms, pray tell? She kind of started talking. Oh, look, the cat speaks. Come one, come all, see the freak. She's really unhappy with her current situation. Oh, ye gods, I've had this nightmare before. Maybe a pinch, but there's no cold sweat. How can this be? It's real, witch MD. Well, crap. Uh, I, I mean, alas! How could you tell that was the real Necronomicon right away? Most everyone imagines it all black, bound in human skin, bearing teeth. Only true initiates know it really kind of looks like one of those British sweater vests. You know, the ones with all the crisscross things. Yeah, why is that? I guess you sometimes just go crazy with the triangles and it just doesn't turn out as evil a design as you'd think. Still, the content more than makes up for it. Pleasant colors, though. Yep, yep, very eye-pleasing. Yep. Oh, and a friend of mine got kidnapped, too. You don't say. Something tells me it's also Necronomicon related. He was kidnapped while looking for the damn thing. I really wish I could help you out, but... Ugh. Was it a very close friend? We talked for like five minutes. So, it was basically someone off the street. Aren't we all basically someone off the street? You sure are. <sighs> Can't you at least point me in some useful direction? Hmm, there is one person that could probably be convinced to delve into this kind of mess. Yeah? I was just getting into my intriguing plot development swing and you totally threw me off. Where was I? Oh yeah, there's this avid student of the dark arts, an undercover intruder into the Dagon cult, a dear, dear friend of mine, a man mad and passionate enough to wade through the occult mysteries of the Necronomicon itself. What's the matter, cat got your tongue? Did he just go there? <coughs> Sorry, I thought you were going for a dramatic pause. But everything I'm saying is dark and morbidly fascinating, right? Oh, absolutely. Just a second ago, I really think I detected some goosebumps. Awesome! I've been working on my wording and delivery. Tell me more about this dark intruder dragon guy. Dagon, not Dragon. The terrible god of the murky abysses. The one who seems to have Fishmith in his clawed grip for decades now. Man, where do you get all this stuff? I am a student of the occult stuff, my greenhorn friend. Plus Wikipedia. So this Dagon's had Fishmouth in his clawed grip for decades. He's the mayor, then? Worse than that, if you can imagine. But this is all hearsay, since most people have been just avoiding Fishmouth for years and years. I haven't talked to my friend in ages. Different cell phone carrier? That, and little to no reception. About this dark student you mentioned. I'm really on the fence here about telling you more. This could be very dangerous. And men in red shirts are notoriously unlucky. Stop reinforcing the stereotype. Is this about money? Money? 
<laughs> no, I always seem to end up working for free anyways. Please tell me who the man is. Sounds like he's our only chance. It is with great difficulty that I even utter his name. You haven't yet. Not if you keep interrupting me. Are you sure you're ready to hear his worldly denomination spoken out loud? Hit me. I'm bracing myself. His name is Bob Olmstein. Bob Olmstein. Pretty sure that's what our building super is called. Waves of awe have been washing over me ever since I've heard you say Bob Olmstein. Are you perchance making fun of Bob Olmstein? I wouldn't dare. So you're saying I can find Bob Olmstein in Fishmouth? Well, yes, but let it be known, I am not advising you to go there. Doesn't look like I have a choice either way. Can you tell me how I can track him down once I get there? Last time we spoke, he was staying at the Finman house. Gotcha. Just remember, we don't go to Fishmouth. There are strange spiky vines all over this crazy place. I really don't want to touch the strange spiked vines. It's an ancient voodoo chest. I can feel waves of eerie energy emanating from it. It looks firmly locked. Sinister and appropriately illuminated. Hey, isn't that... That's identical to Lemon's Mask. I don't want it and it doesn't want me. He either died in the 1700s or the 80s. That's strange. It looks both human and ichthyoid at the same time. Icty what now? Fish-like. It's giving me the creeps. I wouldn't touch it for a hundred bucks. Hey, look, it's a double-headed doll. I think I'll have to ask the voodoo guy first. It's an uh, issue of Bogue magazine. The headline reads, The Fishmouth Look. I don't want it. It creeps me out. It's a pineapple. No thanks, I'm good. Looks like a pirate sword. It looks like a ship's wooden hull. No need for that in this day and age. Looks like a beat up microwave oven. Not touching voodooified home appliances. That ish is bananas. That's an oddly shaped skull. No, I just disturbed the carefully arranged decor. That looks like an authentic voodoo throne. Boy, that is one ancient device. Hello, operator? I've never heard that one before. Hey, these are Halloween skulls. Skulls are skulls, all right? Sometimes it's hard to get the genuine article. Bob Olmstein. Bob Olmstein. <laughs>